Okay, I've been looking at the solar garden lights and the possible jewel thief inside, which indeed they are. And uh, I saw a video by IB Pointless one time and he showed how to uh, charge small batteries off the output in series with the LED and that kind of thing. So I carried on with a bit of those thoughts, stripped a few of these down and you take them, take all the wiring off and everything and you're just left with an inductor and an LED. And you can connect the battery up to the end, 1.2 volt, 1.5 volt and the things will fire up but they use 150 milliamps which is huge so I thought well, I'll have a little dig around and see what we can do with this the well, first thing I found out was if you put a small capacitor and a small resistor in series with an inductor you can bring everything right down and I was ending up with about uh, a milliamp somewhere like that and a good decent LED output um, if you change the fixed resistor which can only be around about 100 ohms uh, to a variable one, I've got a 1k pop there, you can actually change the brightness and whatnot and of course brightness relates then to uh, how much power you're using so that was that, then I went on to this which is actually still running it's been on test now a couple of days and this one uses a loop stick as the coil and I've got a loop stick on the back of it with an AV plug that goes back into the feed battery it's all a little strange and I'll explain it over here um, there's the circuit for the loop stick back feed which as I say one end of it is open then through the loop stick and then to the AV plug which goes directly to the run battery uh, the pot cap inductor in series is simply that there uh, if you can see that and also the series output charging you don't need a couple of diodes or anything it's just in series with the LED output of the circuit and that's the sort of changes I've been doing there now these are the figures of that particular setup there which as I say has been running for a couple of days and hardly uses anything in fact over 29 hours it used 4 millivolts while it charged up the charge battery to the same as the run battery started at and the run battery went down from 1.243 to 1.219 but the net effect difference was just 4 millivolts and of course 29 hours of light in the LED so rather pleased with that and perhaps the uh, the PS de resistance as you may say is when I found out that uh, simple transformers 2 in and 2 out I guess Kyle might be interested in this one while well, he's got a load of them um, they work very well as the inductors I've got a, an old 1.2 volt battery there I've got one on charge and I'll show you what it uses if I connect up there's the LED on quite nicely 117 millivolts sorry 117 microamps at 1.2 volts so there we are, just 117, so right down to that, uh, starting with the transformers on these circuits now. So that's where we're at, and hopefully continue to uh, do a few more experiments with these. Okay, thanks for watching.